beer in hand, asking the decoy several times to put it in the refrigerator. That's it? All right. We'll see what happens. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just nervous. You have to, you know. That's all right. If I would... This dude just keeps looking at the bag. He's like, are you going to put that in the fridge or what, dude? The beer goes bad if you don't put it in the fridge. And also, it doesn't taste that good if you don't put it in the fridge. And I like my beer to taste good after I lick some young nuts. So put the beer in the fridge. I like nuts with my beer. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. What's up, guys? Welcome to Amigos Reacts. I am Brendan. You can check me out on Instagram at Brendan Wharton Fitz. Today, we're going to watch a little To Catch a Predator. Watch these little creeps. And this one is called To Catch a Predator's Funniest Moments. And there's definitely a lot of funny moments on To Catch a Predator. Sometimes I'm wondering like if they're actors because they're all mm, out of their minds, which I guess kind of makes sense. Like, if you like kids, you're out of your mind a little. But anyway, let's watch some of these creepers and laugh at their weird behavior. I don't know what's wrong with them besides that they touch kids, but their brains are smaller than a peanut. What are you doing here today? Is this some kind of setup or something? <laughs> what? Is this some kind of setup or something? No, dude. I'm just uh, this little girl's father and I'm not beating the crap out of you right now. What do you think? A dude comes out in a suit with paperwork in his hand. He's like, what are you doing here today? Sounding like a freaking journalist. And you're like, is this some kind of setup? Oh, I'm just gonna keep eating these cookies. What do you I'm mean? just on my way to the beach. Go oh, home, just on my way to the beach, dude. And I just walked into this random house and started eating cookies. But I'm just going to the beach because everyone on their way to the beach stops at this random house to eat freaking Oreos. Phyllis, screen name generic white male. He's almost 50 years old and he's been chatting online with a girl who calls herself Jolanda and who says she's 15. He lies to her about his age, typing, I'm 30. You probably don't want me around you. I'm cute, though. Built good. This guy says he's cute and built good. He's delusional. You see what I'm saying? These people are so delusional. This dude's a chubby nerd with a tank top on. He was wearing like green Converse, it seemed. I don't know, this TV's so old that you can't even tell what they're wearing, but this guy is cute and built good. Okay. Like you don't come along often, I'd want you again and again. Then he sends an online picture of his penis to the girl who told him she was 15. What is with these creeps always thinking that people want to see their little wiener, dude? I'm 15. Oh, great, you want to see my wiener? I'm 30, but really is 55. What goes through their minds? Like, I think they're hypersexual and they're not, like I said, they're not on the same wavelength with adults. They don't know how to interact and they're not all there. They are they have like low IQs or something. The girl's like, hi, nice to meet you. He's like, oh, oh, nice to meet me. Look at this. And how did you meet her? Well, of course online. You act like I should know that. Well, yeah, I mean, it's a common thing now. Just to meet young girls online. No, well, meet any women online. Then I wrote... Did you just say it's a common thing now and they said I don't meet anyone online? What? Jolanda told you him she was 15. Before. What? No way. Okay, either this... <laughs> He's like not even a good actor about it. <laughs> what? No way. <laughs> In the eyebrow, dude. <laughs> the eyebrow. <laughs> <laughs> what? No way. There's no way Jojo Jolanda was 15. Even though I know she told me that, and as soon as she did, I sent a weenie pic. You know, I have the transcript of your conversation with Jolanda. You know what? I don't want this cookie. Of course he doesn't want that cookie. <laughs> <laughs> I have your transcript with Jolanda. You know what? I don't want this cookie. No one cares what you want, dude. We're going to throw you straight in prison, Mr. Built Good. Yeah, you don't want that cookie. He doesn't want to mess up his physique that he was talking about having. I just want to get to the beach. Come here, just one second, sir. But generic white male won't be going to the beach today. As he heads out the back, he stumbles off the porch right into the arms of the... <laughs> this dude's so nervous, he didn't even see the stairs. He was just like, gotta go to the beach. But really, I don't want to get arrested. Open door, don't see stairs. Falls down. But hey, he's pretty athletic. He caught that. He caught that trip pretty good. Myers Police Department. The police quickly take him down to the ground. In Florida, where it's relatively easy to get a permit to carry a concealed weapon, these officers aren't taking any chances. 
Willis, bro, you know they don't care if he had a weapon. They just wanted to smash him because he's a child molester, and I would too. If I was a police officer and I knew we were doing a chomo sting, as soon as they walk out, I'd be like, "He's got a gun!" and just slam his head on the ground and hope that he craps his pants, and then parade him around in his crap pants around town. I'd be like, "Yeah, we'll get to the police station when we get there." And I put a little sign on his back, be like he was arrested for child molestation, and then. If somebody in public accidentally killed him, oh no, what are we going to do? He's 46-year-old Anthony Palumbo, and he's brought a gift. We've hired an 18-year-old actor to play the part of the young teen. Hey, <laughs> come on in. Awesome. Dude, he was so excited. Did you see that? As soon as he saw the boy, he was like, oh yeah, oh yeah, so excited. Online in an AOL gay chat room calling himself Hi Buddy What's Up, he tells the decoy who's pretending to be a 14-year-old boy that he's horny. Then the 46-year-old says, I want to be top. Oh, okay. You want to do it raw? Raw? Yes. What's that? No rubber. I was supposed to be a left. At one now he's eight. here. <laughs> he really does sound like everybody loves Raymond. Beer in hand, stopped. asking the decoy several times to put it in the refrigerator. You can put that in the fridge. Yeah, I'll put it in a little bit. All right. I'll relax. I'm just a little nervous. I'm nervous too. <laughs> My excuse to come here, I went to Atlantic City. I just, I don't know. What to, what do you put that in the refrigerator. I don't know. We'll just chill out. Is he married or what? Why is he saying his excuse to come here was Atlantic City? He's probably married and hooking up with little boys on the internet and saying, yeah, my excuse to come here, let's go to Atlantic City. Who cares what your excuse was? Your excuse ain't going to hold up in court. And your excuse, it, your, your wife's going to be like, Atlantic City, huh? Is that what this boy's name? Atlantic? Hmm? You going to bang Mr. Atlantic City over here? Dude, how many guys are like married and banging young dudes on the side? I know it was a big thing back in Greece, right? They would always have a young boy, a uh, little bang bang buddy. Not today anymore. Well, probably is. Because I know this one dude that always would come up to me in the gym. And he was with his wife. But he was always making like weird comment. Like he was like, he was like complimenting me. But also he gave like very gay vibes like on the down low type of shit. And, uh, yeah, so I'm pretty sure it's pretty common still. And the way this guy acted, I feel like his wife probably knew and either allowed it or just pretended it didn't happen, but... That's it? All right. We'll see what happens. <laughs> I'm just I'm just nervous. You have to, you know. That's all right. If I would... This dude just keeps looking at the bag. He's like, are you going to put that in the fridge or what, dude? The beer goes bad if you don't put it in the fridge. And also, it doesn't taste that good if you don't put it in the fridge. And I like my beer to taste good after I lick some young nuts. So put the beer in the fridge. I like nuts with my beer. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You can put that in the refrigerator anytime. Okay, I don't mean to okay, don't okay. get drunk with that. <laughs> I won't. <laughs> All right. Don't get drunk with that. Or do, and then come sit on my lap. Freaking weirdo. So why'd you need the cover story to go to uh, Atlantic City? I'll see my brother. Yeah. yeah, but who did you have to give that to as a cover story? No, mm -hmm. my brother is home, my other brother. Right. And I said, I got to go to Atlantic City. And, but instead, you came here. I stopped by to go there. So you're like... <laughs> <laughs> These people are always stopping by to go somewhere else. The first dude was going to the beach. This dude's going to Atlantic City. When he clearly told the young boy five minutes ago, this was my excuse to come here, Atlantic City. But you weren't really going to Atlantic City. We already know that. And then another guy comes out, and you're like, all of a sudden... Yeah, I just, I just came here to drop off beer to a 15-year-old on my way to Atlantic City because I like to be nice. Because, like, when I was 15, I know I liked beers, and I thought maybe he would like a beer. But I wasn't going to suck his dick until he came in my mouth or anything. That was oddly specific. Why'd you say that? I, <laughs> I'm just going to Atlantic City. I'll see you later. Yeah, I'm going to go, get him on the ground. Gamble. Yeah, I love to gamble. You took a little bit of a gamble coming in here tonight. No, I just thought... Eh, he got him with that. You like to gamble, do you? Yeah, I love to gamble. You took a little bit of gamble coming here tonight. You knew there could be cops. And guess what, buddy? 
Just like the casino, house wins, you lose. I, but you said you were nervous when you came in. Why were you so Yeah, nervous? because I was going to Atlantic City and it was dark and I'm not usually a drive at dark. It's a weird excuse. But... <laughs> <laughs> These dudes come up with like great excuses sometimes. <laughs> you said you were nervous. Yeah, because I... I don't like to drive in the dark because I'm getting old and these eyes, they don't work as good as they used to. And, you know, my eyes don't work good. So that's why I didn't know the kid was 15 either, you know, because I can't really read. So when he said 15, I thought it said 51. And I was like, perfect. Yeah. 51 year old cock, my favorite. Checks out. So the nighttime makes you nervous? Yeah, driving. Mm -hmm. I'm not a driver at and, night. And what about so. visiting a boy who's home alone? Does that make you nervous? Well, yeah. Yeah, a little yeah. bit. I just wanted to just say hi. It just was to say hi that, yeah. and drop off a package. But yeah, I just wanted to say hi. Like my screen name suggests I'm Hi Guy. Fifth, what was the screen name? It was like Hi Guy, number two. I don't know. It was like a sentence. What is with these old screen names that were like sentences instead of a name? Penis. Yeah, I had beer. Have you been drinking tonight? No, not at all. You, can <laughs> you sent him a picture of your penis. Yeah, I had beer. Anytime I have one beer, I just start sending people... Pictures of my weenie on the internet. It's a thing, you know. I've been to rehab a few times. Yeah, like literally one sip of beer and my camera just appears in my hand and my pants are on my ankles. It's a whole thing. Yeah, I've struggled with it for basically ever since cameras came out. My, my mother got me a camera for my third birthday. My dad let me have a sip of beer. Next thing you know it, 37 dick pics. Not my breath. Not at all. It's okay. I don't need to do that. He tells me several times he thought the boy was 18, but in the chat log, the decoy... Yeah, thought he was 18. Like I told you, my eyes, they're not good in the dark. My computer's in a dark room at my house, actually. So when he said 15, you know, the five, it looked like that was enclosed, like an eight. So, you know, I can't see good in the dark. That's why I was nervous. That's why I thought he was 18. Whole lot of reasons here, bud. So I'm going to be on my way to Atlantic City like I told my brother I would be. I don't want to lie to my brother. So I need to make it to Atlantic City tonight because if I'm one thing, it's not a liar. Do I like to suck underage cock? Maybe. Do I lie? No. Except if you're asking me if I like to suck underage dick. So I guess I do lie. But no, I don't lie. My eyes are bad. I thought he was 18. Tells him two different times that he's 14. How old are you? 39. 39. 39? Dude, it, that's probably a lie because... you. If you're 39, then you look like shit, dude. And if I look like that in 11 years, I'm jumping off a cliff. You said you were 35 online. 35, 39. Yeah. We find out later he's actually 49. four. I'm dyslexic. Uh, I can't see good in the deck. And I mix up fives with nines. I thought he was 19. Like he said he was 15. I thought he was 19. I'm 35. Sometimes I think I'm 39. It's a whole thing here. Trust me, it's all going to hold up in court. Six. He says he's unemployed and spends his time caring for his ailing mother. Then he tries to explain away his graphic sexual chat. You asked him in your chat if he was top or bottom. What does that mean? Did I ask? I don't remember. That. Are you top or bottom? I'm horny, you say. Didn't I ask him that? Top or bottom? I don't know. Top, like, does he like tops uh, baseball cards? That could be what I was talking about. Bottom, um, I don't, yeah, bottom, I don't know, man. Maybe I just meant to say top again because I was talking to the, about the baseball cards because I know 19-year-old boys like baseball cards. And like I said, I thought he was 19 because of my uh, bad eyesight. I was just fooling around. Well, if you're just fooling around, then why were you so concerned about knowing whether or not he was a cop? Just joking. Just joking. Mm -hmm. Just joking, yeah. That's my favorite joke is to like... Ask people, hey, are you a cop? <laughs> That's such a good joke. What? What made you decide to come over here and meet a teenage boy after uh, this sexually explicit conversation? I thought it was like I wanted to hang out with someone, like a friend. Like I thought he was like 18, something like that. It wasn't, I'm, I'm not gay or anything. <laughs> He just doesn't want anyone to know he's gay. He doesn't care that he's going to go to prison for uh, child molestation or endangerment or whatever. He's just like, his freaking hand is shaking this whole time. He's like, all right, how do I let him know that I'm not gay? That's like really all I care about here. Like, all right, when the opening comes, 
All right. Yeah. No. Did I want someone to hang out with? Yeah. Like a friend. But like, I'm not even gay, dude. So like, what else could we possibly be doing here? The top and bottom thing, you know, I was like, do you like the top of bottom bunk bed? That's what I was, because I want a best friend, like stepbrothers. How, like, are we best friends now? Like, do you want top of bottom bunk bed? You know, because I'm not even gay. It's about gay No, I'm straight. just saying. I'm straight. I'm straight. I'm Nobody just cares saying. what adults do. No, I'm just know? saying. But when you involve somebody who's 14, that's when I it becomes an 18. issue. How old are you? Yeah, I thought he was 18, though. But, like, the most important thing we really got to focus on here. What was he named? Chris? Chris, listen, the thing we really got to focus on here is that I'm straight, dude. Like, I love punani. I love boobies. I definitely don't like cock in my throat. I don't love that warm, creamy jizz on my tongue. Like, I love pussy, okay? And that's what we really got to stay focused on here. I've already told you he was 18. If the chat logs say otherwise, I don't know. We could check my computer screen at home. It's kind of not the great. It's not HD. 4K hasn't come out yet, Chris. I mean, look at the quality of the screen that we're on on TV, you know? I mean, I can't see good at night. My computer's in a dark room. The screen's blurry. It's not 4K. He was 18 in my mind. And I just wanted someone to be friends with. The top and bottom, like I said, bunk beds. I only like girls. You ask 14. I told you that already. You say K, meaning okay. Right? I wasn't going but to why do that. that? What's the motive here? It's, Explain it to me. I don't no, understand. you're right. No, I, you're right. It's stupid. It's, it's not. It's an no. illegal thing. Yeah, I know. I did a stupid thing. Do you ever uh, watch much television? Sometimes, once in a while. Not so much of a TV person. Well, I'm Mostly pornography, but straight, not dick, dude. Yeah, I'm not much of a TV person except for yeah, I do like to watch a little pornographies. Um, but big boobs is usually what I like, or um, big booties on women, because I'm straight. It's Hanson, and I work for Dateline NBC, and we're doing a story on adults oh. who try to meet kids online. Oh, I like wouldn't want to be, um... oh boy. Hey, you can walk right out of the door, you can't. Okay. In. He quickly leaves the house and is startled by the police. <laughs> I think I was like, I, I'm not doing anything. All right. It's just so calm. Anyway, what do you guys think of uh, Mr. Not Gay here? Do you think he's gay? Um, but more importantly, he's a child molester. So it doesn't really matter if he's gay because it's 2023 and no one cares if he's gay. But this was back in like, I don't know, when was this? Like early 2000s, maybe the 90s. Men were like a lot more concerned with being perceived as gay. Even recent, like, and I just feel like it's getting more accepted now to where, like, if you're gay, you can just come out and it's not as big of a deal. I feel like some people definitely it's not like as accepted as being straight. Like people still are like afraid to come out as gay. But yeah, back then it was like a big deal. But nah, who cares? Anyway, chomos. Yeah, not a fan. <laughs> and the, the ones like on this show are always just like low iq you know what i'm saying but also they're caught like as soon as they're caught their adrenaline probably shoots through the roof so like we don't know what they're like on a normal basis but even when they come in and they think well i guess they're nervous even when they see the decoy but yeah like i said we got to be more afraid of the people that are like hiding in plain sight they're actually smart like high iq predators that are probably getting away with it a lot more than these idiots that are online like hey Oh, uh, you're 18, right? No, I'm 15. Cool with me. You're not a cop, are you? Definitely not a cop. Come over right now. Don't bring any weapons. That's not weird. Let's go over there. Yeah, do you want to watch more to catch a predator? Let me know. Uh, do you want to watch something else? Leave in the comments. I don't know. Thank you guys for watching. Please hit the subscribe button, like button, notification bell. Remember, one of our first 50,000 subscribers will win $500. So hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of our videos because they're so interesting and you really definitely need to know when they're coming out. Anyway, thank you for watching. See you in the next one. <laughs> Dude, you got to watch this video. <laughs> oh, okay.